Once it was used to be one of my very favorite extensions, but then it got kinda bloated, it was lagging shell, and the maintainership wasn't very active either. Yesterday Workspaces to Dock added support for GNOME 334, so I obviously gave it a go, and I can tell you, this extension is definitely back on track and better than ever. You see? Maybe you don't see many differences from one GNOME version to another, but under the hood there are lots of code optimizations, that also affect shell extensions. Especially in the case of Workspaces to Dock, there is also the native support for horizontal workspaces on Mutter, that simplifies the code for the extension, plus adds support for gestures and other goodies. So, I got it on latest release from GitHub, which reminds me, that the developer is asking for someone to pass the maintainership of the extension, and if you have time and you are in mood, it would be a good idea to help that project, because with some effort it can be proved an amazing add-on for GNOME. And after a minute, time to finally get this video started, and I will start by resetting everything to default. But before, fuck, you're old. So, open G Settings Editor, and go to org. Gnome. Shell. Extensions. And workspaces to dock extension. Right click, and reset recursively. Then, open tweaks and enable the extension. So, the very first time you launch it, it starts on right, and it is always visible with auto hide. One of the major issues with workspaces to dock, is the default settings. I can't even imagine how many people install it, saw that, and immediately removed it, without even get bothered to check on the options. On this video I won't go through all the options, that are lots. Instead, I will replicate shell original behavior, but with horizontal workspaces on top. Some people will love that, since it's on every other desktop and for a good reason. Some people prefer the vertical positioning, and personally, I believe that horizontal just feels more natural in actual use, especially if you combine it with dash to panel. Anyway, let's set everything up, it will only just take a couple of minutes. So, we open preferences. And first thing we want, is to set workspaces panel on top. Then, I'm going to set full width on panel, and center the thumbnails. Next, on behavior tab I will remove the auto hide. Now we can still open the panel by hitting the top edge, and without entering on overview, which is a cool feature, but I'm going to also remove it because that's not shell original mechanics. And now we can only get on overview if we press super, or hit the left top edge of the screen, as it happens on default shell. On second thoughts, I'm going to keep panel visible for now, so we can easily see the changes we're doing. On thumbnails tab, we can change the size of the thumbnails. However I'm going to keep that as it is, because it looks fine to me, and most importantly because of bugs and it will need to restart shell. Next is the captions option. That's one of my top complaints on GNOME Shell since day one. Basically we can't see what apps we are running on each workspace, so we end up cycling between workspaces to find our apps. Windows 10 also have this problem, but at least there is a bottom panel with previews, so everything is smoother. On workspaces to dock though, captions do much more than just displaying the running apps. Let me show you. We can actually drag and drop the icons, and easily move the applications on another workspace. Or even directly close them from the captions. But because it is not polished enough, plus I have a panel with Windows previews, plus it gets some extra space, plus I said I will mimic shell, I'm going to turn that feature off, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. On favorites tab we shouldn't touch anything really, but I want to show you this. This panel is the definition of super bloated software. Anyway, 
We are done! Only thing left is to turn off the auto hide, and we'll get something very close to shell, but with horizontal workspaces on top. This video is already super long, but I will make it a little bit longer, to quickly mention some issue by using this extension. The first problem is that this extension is very addictive. That means it is hard to get used to it, even if you use Mac OS or Windows 10 already. And even worse, once you will get used to it, it will be hard to go back on GNOME's vertical workspaces. Which bring us to problem number 2. This extension has an highly maintainership. And as I mentioned previously, the original developer is looking for help. That means the extension may get dead, and may won't work on GNOME 336 release, and so you will get disappointed, you will feel sad, you may even have a close to death experience. And the last problem, that is kinda technical. GNOME shell isn't designed for horizontal workspaces, and that leads on some issues. For example, on overview when we drag and drop an application, the search input will get hidden, which isn't a big deal but it is an issue nevertheless. Then, the windows placement on overview is optimized for the vertical workspaces. Basically Shell tries to reduce the distances of windows to thumbnails, which is a GNOME 334 change, and again it isn't really a big deal, but it sums up to the point that Shell isn't designed for horizontal workspaces. And I have no idea what happens on multi-monitor setups.